Jaguar Wright is back at it again, and this time around, she's going after Beyonce and her mom, Miss Tina Knowles, for their involvement in Diddy's shady dealings. This came after Tina was caught showing her support for Diddy amid his essay allegations. Not only did Jaguar put both Beyonce and Tina on blast for turning a blind eye to the things that Diddy was doing with Jay, but also Jaguar accused Tina of being in cahoots with her husband been Matthew Knowles to sell Beyonce out to Jay-Z when she was still a teenager in exchange for opportunities in Hollywood. Apparently, Tina and Matthew tried to do the same thing with Solange, but she wasn't having it. There have always been questions about how Jay was able to get away with sleeping with Beyonce when she was that young and he was already pushing 30. But after all the tea that Jaguar just spilled, everything suddenly makes a lot more sense. Now, these allegations about Tina and Matthew selling Beyonce to Jay started some time ago when detective fans did a little digging and found out that Beyonce was actually just 16 years old when Jay started to hit on her for a potential relationship. In fact, during a 2007 interview with Charlie Ross, Jay reveals that he met Beyonce when she was just 16. But when Charlie tried to further question him on it, he became super defensive and started pulling back from answering the question. But you know, I've known not... her. Uh, wow, a long time. How long? Ten years? How long? How long? However long she's been recording. That's, that's <laughs> when I met her. Uh, well, don't you remember how long it was? Yeah, when I met her. I mean, was it five I, years ago? Was it? I long? met her ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, did you say to yourself at that time, "Wow"? I see, yeah, she's, that's a fantastic uh, talent. Now, I don't know about y'all, but the fact that he was comfortable being in a relationship with somebody 12 years younger than him, especially when that person was just 16, is very concerning. And it sets the tone for a serious power imbalance. Beyonce was tied up in her career right from her early years, so she barely had any real life experiences with other men. He practically snatched her up while she was young and molded her into whatever he wanted. In fact, he bragged about this on his song 444, where he admitted to intentionally making Beyonce feel like she wasn't good enough for him. He rapped, I said, don't embarrass me instead of be mine. That was your 21st birthday. The audacity of him to say this when he's the one who ended up embarrassing her by cheating on her with multiple women. I mean, too much. Now at the time, Beyonce said the reason why she stayed was for her kids, but people didn't believe that. Some fans believe that the reason why Beyonce didn't leave him is because she doesn't know a life without him. In fact, just a few months ago, Beyonce's ex bodyguard Uncle Ron came out and spilled the tea about how Jay keeps Beyonce under control by pumping her up with substances. Yeah, Beyonce's on. She been on him for a long time and you keep her that way. This was later confirmed by Jaguar Wright, who also accused Jay of keeping Beyonce hooked on coke. Why has, why, why has Jay Z been coming up with you lately? Cause he's a monster. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> And then there was this viral video of Beyonce looking very zoned out at a basketball game with Jay. She could barely keep her eyes open and just kept slowly swinging her head side to side to stay awake. Her PR team had tried to get ahead of the situation by claiming she was just tired from her rehearsals, but nobody was buying that. But here's where things get a little more concerning, because aside from him keeping her every day, there were also some reports of Jay putting his hands on her. This came quickly after Beyonce's assistant spilled the tea exclusively to media takeout. The article was quickly taken down, but several other blogs had already taken screenshots to start spreading the word. The assistant said, seems that for a while, he's had a problem with keeping his hands to himself. Now, I've never seen him just flat out strike B, but too many times have I seen him shove and push her. At first, I thought that it was just a little horseplay thing between the two, but once I saw how embarrassed B was to be manhandled in front of me in St. Tropez, I realized that it was no joke. I've been Beyonce's assistant and friend for a while now, and 
I've always wanted to say something, but I never felt it was my place. He treats Beyonce like she's an object and not a person. People believe that this is part of the reason why Solange savagely attacked Jay in that elevator back in 2014, trying to knock that man out. But it gets even worse, y'all. Because according to new evidence leaked by Jaguar Wright, Tina and Matthew were very well aware of all the stuff that Jay was gonna put Beyonce through when he first started dating her. But they still allowed it because they wanted him to help her attain more success in Hollywood. But clearly this came at a cost because Jay didn't just make Beyonce his wife. He also kept her on drugs and according to her own assistant, had no issues putting his hands on her. Even aside from all that, he's now got her mixed up in dirty dealings with Diddy and other very creepy industry executives. Y'all know, Jay-Z has been one of the most mentioned people ever since Diddy started getting destroyed. People really believe he's next in line and Beyonce is already putting things in place to make sure she separates herself from him before the truth comes out. Apparently, Beyonce has already separated her assets from Jay and is just waiting for everything to come out before officially announcing that they're separated. Part of the reason why they have or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. And it's only so much of these stories that Jay-Z can, you know, he can pay off or he can block. He won't be able to stop this and she knows it and he knows it too um as far as who's gonna be the breakout victim slash story i i don't, I don't know yeah i might have to ask jason lee i don't know but i'm just letting you know that once that comes out and jay-z is exposed for his nefarious past you're gonna see beyonce divorce him. Okay. And she's gonna, she may or may not do an interview, but you may, you, you're gonna, um, their publicist is gonna release something. She's gonna say, oh, the Carters have been separated for some time. They built this beautiful life, blah, 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 blah. Now, before all this happens, we may get another tour. We may get another album out of both of them. I don't know, because at the end of the day, they bought their money first. They're gonna do what's best for business first. Um, as far as Beyonce is concerned, do she love him? I mean, he's really all that she knows. People initially thought Beyonce was blindsided by all the things that Jay was doing with Diddy, but it turns out she actually knew and still supported him all the way. I mean, they've been together for over two decades and have three kids together, so it wouldn't even make sense to think that she didn't have a clue about what he was up to. She's Jay's accomplice, and now she's trying to save herself before everything goes down. And remember how I said earlier that Tina and Matthew literally sold Beyonce to Jay for fame. Well, it turns out they also knew about the illegal things that Jay and Beyonce were getting into with Diddy. Now, these allegations got fueled when Tina was caught liking Diddy's recent post on his IG of his youngest daughter, even after all the essay lawsuits against him. She was still publicly showing support for him and only disliked the photo once people started blowing up her phone to call her out for her disgusting alliance with Diddy. As usual, people had their own thoughts about this mess. Like this person who said, why do y'all believe Beyonce is innocent? Beyonce knows and is very well aware of what they both done as a couple or a business to get where they are. Let's be honest. There are a lot of other female artists that are better and should be where she is. Beyonce wanted the fame and money just as much. Another person said, I think Jay-Z and Beyonce's parents both manipulated her, but she's no angel either. She has blood on her hands and skeletons in her closet, and so does the rest of Hollywood. Cat Williams said, the truth will come out this year. I hope he's right. But now I wanna know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Beyonce and Tina getting exposed for their involvement with Diddy? And do y'all think Jay is to be blamed for Beyonce getting mixed in with all this mess? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.